Good afternoon, Washington County Public School Board. My name is Levi Trumbull, and I reside in Frederick. The last time that I spoke at a meeting like this one, uh, it was in relationship to uh, violations of free speech that I was very much concerned with. Uh, that being when a man came to this exact table and exercised his First Amendment uh, of the United States to the Constitution, and there was an attempt from this board to silence that individual and move that whole situation into a closed session meeting. Now, I'm not going to rehash that, uh, but that was one of the things that I was here about the last time. I also not that it matters, and I'll get into it, but I also talked about this guy, Steve Edwards, who's using a fake name. He still is using that fake name, come to think of it, still there. Uh, but in any event, I am here tonight because it has come to my attention that yet again, there seems to be more violations of the First Amendment freedom of speech, but under a different context. That being on your guys' Facebook page, from what I understand, you guys are prohibiting, blocking, removing comments on the Washington County Public Schools Facebook, deleting comments that you guys do not agree with or that you dislike or that contain certain words that do not tickle your ears. So that action would be unlawful, right? Um, when people go online, that on your Facebook page, that's a way to give their opinion. That's a way to share feedback. That's a way to perhaps redress grievances with the government. It's a public forum, if you will. So those comments, any and all of them, should not be removed whatsoever. I want to bring up a similar situation that happened in Woodland Park, Colorado, where an individual got online and called an elected official a punk, a punk. And for that, they deleted his comments. He sued Woodland Park, Colorado. He won, and that jurisdiction paid him $65,000 for the removal of that comment, $65,000 for one comment. Now, we have confirmed that that is what's happening right up here. And you can't do it. So I don't think any of you up here are lawyers, but perhaps there is a lawyer in the room somewhere behind me. I'm putting all of you on notice here and now, that you do not want to be like Woodland, Colorado, and get sanctioned $65,000 for violating free speech. It won't look good. It won't look good to the taxpayers here in Washington County. I mean, I don't know. Do you guys want to pay that? I don't know. I'm from Frederick. But right now, here and now, I am putting you guys on legal notice that you cannot, should not, it is unlawful to and actionable to remove, delete, or ban people from a public Facebook page, period. You cannot do that. So with that being said, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you sitting up on that dais right there. This is for all eight of you. Would any of you like to commit right now that you will not continue to violate free speech. Can we have a commitment to free speech right now? Show of hands. Let the, ref let the record reflect. Not one hand went in the air. Not one hand. Um, so that's all I have for you here and now. And just to clarify for the record that uh, religious expression, it actually is allowed in school. Your First Amendment uh, right to express your religion does not cease to exist just because uh, you walk into a school. 
Uh, that's the reason that many religious texts uh, can be actually allowed inside of a school is because within the confines of a school building, you don't uh, cease to be a United States citizen. Uh, so thank you very much. I guess I'm right on time with my five minutes. Thank you very much, Linda. Have a good night. You guys are on legal notice. What's that? I can't call Your name's not Linda? My name is Levi Trumbull. Nice to meet you, Linda. Please stop removing Facebook comments that you disagree with. I just, I don't want to see you guys get sanctioned $65,000 like what happened in Woodland Park, Colorado, where that guy called that one elected official a punk, and then for that, uh, he, was actually, he was actually paid $65,000 for calling that guy a punk. I mean, that's quite a payday. I don't know, if, I don't know what you guys think, but I think that's a payday. So thank you, uh, Ms. Murray. Appreciate it. Thank you. Night, guys. Thank you, Mr. Trumbull. You're welcome. Is there anyone else who would like to come forward? 